Right, like a little while ago, I was making a video of this Hitman level. You're in some sort of library. And, uh, anyway. I had another crack at it, probably at a lower setting. I don't know, lower difficulty, whatever. Managed to clean the place out. I mean, this is... There's some sort of bullshit in Hitman where you really... It's like Thief, you're supposed to sneak around, you're not supposed to kill all the baddies. Because you're a, you're a, you're a contract killer, you're not a straight-up cold-blooded mass murderer. But as it turns out, I've got a bit of a knack for that, so, um... Well, like I said, it's on an easier setting this time, but I mean, this, I want you to look up these stairs. Just, just check this out. I just want you to see something. Look at that. Bringing home the bake. Um, I don't mean to boast, but this is a bit of a hole. You know, look at this stuff here. As you can see here, these <laughs> there's still a couple of costumes from these guys. So, um, sort of looks like a bit of a, a bit of a uh, gay repose there. They lived in a cruel world ruled by the religious right morons who wouldn't let them get married, so, um, in death they find a strange kind of joy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's pretty hilarious, actually. There was some, uh... <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing this up now, aside from these two, but there was some, uh... Gay people got married in the capital of Australia and then the uh, High Court overruled them or some shit. It's, it's fucking retarded. I, I am so sick of being held hostage by what I swear must be just a very vocal minority of these fucking old people and retards who, uh... who think that there's, like, a problem with uh, the whole gay marriage thing. Hey, hey, like, no sign of suspect. Because, oh wow, do I actually have some people left to kill? I thought I killed all of them. Uh, what I was going to say is that, um, gay people have been married in the world before and nothing happened. Like, there was no blowback, there was no, like, nothing happened. Why are we not over this yet? Why aren't we just letting them all do it? How could you be so stupid? Um, these are all big questions I'm going to say for the next podcast, probably. This is the end of year one, we're going to wrap up on, on all the topics from the year, maybe, if I can remember any of them. Um, bit of a recap. And all the December news, I tell you, I hate that we only do the podcast once a month because there's always news that I want to talk about and I can't. Because it's going on. Oh. Oh. Non target casualty times two. Did I just squash two people? Wow. Oh, please let me play with the fire hose. Oh, fucking hell. You know, I hate it when these games aren't like open world enough. I mean, even in Duke Nukem, you could flush the toilets. Objective. Oh! <laughs> I lost all these points for, for all the unnecessary kills in the library. And I thought I was gonna... Oh, I'm still minus a thousand. No. Code name fully set. So this is Hong Kong. No. I actually didn't want to play the game. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, bodies that I... The bodies that hit the floor, so to speak. Whoa. Uh, the entire planet is one big city. Oh, I'm David! Oh. <laughs> I don't know, that did. they should only crack me up, so I forgive you if you don't laugh. I'm uh, gonna need my submachine gun, though. I am still, and I know we already covered this in the first videos we made, but I'm still disappointed that- OH SHIT! That there's no, um, disguise one, fuck. Uh, weapon cheat in this game. Oh shit. Me versus helicopter. You don't expect me to believe a couple of piddly shots from the machi machine gun was capable of bringing the whole thing down. Damn. I'm save my machine gun ammo. Aw, oh, come on, what am I even doing? Can't even see in the cockpit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's alright. Fuck off. Easy. This game is easy. Alright. Whoa. We're in an abandoned chicken coop. A random chicken coop on the on the top. Oh, they're pigeons. Well, oh, same thing. On the ra on the top of some uh, apartment building. I fucking don't. Know. I have not been following the story of him man at all. Can you kill these guys? Oh, it'd be so cool if you could free them all. Fly, my pretties. <laughs> I'd say a history of the world quote. If you're unfamiliar with the film, it's a very good movie. You should go and watch that. It's got that great song, The Inquisition. Hang on. Have I played that to you guys before? This could be a lucky day. Hang on a minute. See, I'm educating you all. The Inquisition, let's begin the Inquisition, look out, say we're on a mission to convert the Jews. We're gonna teach them wrong from right, we're gonna help them see the light, we're making offer the Jews, that the Jews just can't refuse. It's brilliant, it's Mel Brooks at his absolute finest, I mean, well, he's made a lot of funny movies and every, I think everybody has their favourite, but um... 
to be quite honest, I think, I mean, for me personally, the Inquisition is like his finest moment in film. It's just, it's just perfect. It's complete. Hang on. I need to turn the Inquisition down now so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't actually have any plans on finishing this mission because uh, last time I fell kind of short. I spent, what was it, half an hour, 40 minutes, basically stuck on one bit. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Oh. Get to the chopper. Are you dead yet? Man. Um, so, today wasn't, strictly speaking, going to be a video day, but... Oh, oh, shit. But I may wind up recording some things later on in the day because, I mean, okay. Here's the situation. I've been trying to upload the last batch of videos, which is only like four of them, for the past couple of days, because there's a problem with my internet. Now, um, we're not sure what the problem is. We don't know if it's our router, or if it's our provider, or if... Uh, while doing some repairs, Dad inadvertently fucked the phone line up. We don't know. So I've been uploading these four piddly videos that aren't even that long for the past few days. At the moment, with the last video is coming up. Where is it? I've got to wait another three hours, and that's not even like a twenty-minute video. So I mean, this is ridiculous stuff. So to pass the time, I've decided to record some videos. That's what you're seeing now. Um, oh man, yeah. the helicopter cockpit is impenetrable. Why does he get unlimited ammo? What about me? Whoa! Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, bad. We're back to this sad cycle again, where I basically just keep screwing up. So I promise this one won't be half an hour long. I'm just gonna... Whoa, come on. Oh, fuck! That helicopter's lethal. Maybe I have to run out quicker, like I did the first time. I think this game's cheating. In the car. In the car. In the car. The Inquisition's still playing, it's like a seven minute musical number, so, um... Alright, here we go. I love surprising people in Hitman. Alright. Oh, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle on this now, because I... But, anyway. Back soon. Alright, I appear to be in some sort of hippie, drug den, love den, fuck, fuck factory, I don't know. Here at the Fun Palace, where the hippies hang out, I, um... I... I took care of the helicopter on the roof, but it took me most of my ammo, so, uh, I don't know. And again, this is not a proper walkthrough, I'm just bored. It's playing the game for a bit of- Oh, they even do target practice, these hippies. How cool is that? Suspicious. What? Oh! <laughs> it's a hippie turkey shoot! Yes! Oh, that's a cop. So there's a sign- there's a poster over here saying, fuck the police. Fuck the cops, rather. I, uh, you know what, I'm actually, uh, I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't like the hippies. I'm no particular fan of the cops, I know some of them are just trying to do their jobs. Um, but, uh, hey, as for the hippies, no real love for them either. They complain, they don't offer solutions. He's wearing one of those hats that I fucking hate. <laughs> hey, what the <laughs> Oh, quick time events! No, I didn't set a chance. Oh man, I've just realised beating the, beating the hippies with my fists in single combat is way more satisfying. I think we'll, we'll think we'll use the knife this time. Wow, check those graphics. Alright, there we go, guys. Yeah, you're busted! Eat <laughs> that poorly, Shaw! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so easy. <laughs> I've probably taken a bit too much joy in this. Oh, I just don't really... Where, where, that one in particular, the one with the hat. Oh, I hate those hats. I don't know what you call them. People... People complain about the fedora being like the think the root of all evil, uh, but to me, no, those wanky-looking caps, uh, those are the ones that really fucking piss me off. Whoa! Oh, Q! Oh, shit! I can't even. I don't even have time to read the quick time event letters before the guy's hitting me. Oh, thanks, Jimi Hendrix. Um, okay. Hang on a minute. Right. We need to take. We need to take these guys down faster. Oh wow! What? Single bullets don't do it? Stop praying. It's not gonna work. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, shit amount of ammo! Oh, I used it all in the helicopter. Where's my other gun? Oh, yeah. My shangri la beneath the summer moon. Oh, I will return again. Sure as the dust blows so high in June. Moving through Kashmir. 
Bum 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 He died beneath the disco ball. Isn't that poet poetic? That could be the name of that could be the name of this one. He died beneath the disco ball. Oh, God, I, this one. I actually really don't want to play this game anymore. I just didn't feel like leaving it where I left it before, so um here's the, the postscript, the addendum addendum? How do you pronounce it? That's the that's the hat I hate so much. Can you guys please tell me what kind of hat that hat that is? So I I've been calling it a golf cap because I, don't, I seriously don't know what you call it, but um, I have no respect for the people who wear them. Um, there's this guy who does camera reviews. He's a sort of uh, Asian-looking dude with a British accent, um, and he he wears one. And I actually uh, like his videos. Like, well, I mean, they're all right. I've I've learned a bit about the lenses and stuff that I've been thinking of buying or not buying as, as it happens. But um, yeah, don't like the hat. Really, it looks like shit. Oh shit. Wow, I'm lost. Oh wow, they've got a whole operation going on here. People love to talk about marijuana like it's completely harmless, and they really... It's like saying pornography doesn't hurt anyone. They kind of, like, ignores the, the, the real-world link between the production of a house produced and the environment. That, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, a crop like this, there's organised crime money connections here. Like, you know, there's... You might just think you're sm smoking a perfectly harmless, natural little plant, but... Where it came from, and who paid for it, and who's who's paying for it to be made? It all, it's all interconnected, it's all linked, you can't just wash your hands with it and say, Well man, it's just... It's <laughs> I don't know what like, point I was trying to make. It's the, it's the same argument I think they make with some pornography, is that... Even if somebody says, well, it's all produced by women, and it's all totally respectful and controlled and all that shit... It's still part of an industry that doesn't... Like, it's still, you know, it's still dealing with a sort of... An element that is not respectful, or, or safe, or clean, or doesn't have the right attitude towards drugs. I'm just, I'm rambling. I'm off like, just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a rambling uh, end of the video. More stuff for you to disagree with. I actually don't mind. Um, because uh, when I talk about things that I'm not prepared to talk about, I haven't actually sat and thought about it for a while. Um, I did my mouth just needs to run away with, which is usually what happens whenever I get into any argument about the police, or respect for the police, or law enforcement, or whatever. I understand people have valid concerns about how much power they have and you know, how much information you should give them when they stop you with the traffic and yada yada, but I mean, you know, a lot of the time you don't have a leg to stand on. You really are just being obstinate pigs and uh, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, anything else I can clear up for you guys? <laughs> oh, uh, today I found out that V... Uh, switch is the which shoulder you're looking over. I, I wish every game had that. There's so many games where I haven't been able to like sneak out and take out bad guys because I couldn't. Okay, I'm stuck on that. Usually I'm stuck on that shoulder, and I'm like uh, 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 trying desperately to figure out. Bang in the middle. All right, let's kill off a couple more hippies and then end this, shall we? Get the one with the cap. Get the one with the cap. Get it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, drag him off to my dungeon for a bit of. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't play this anymore. This game's fucking my night up. I'm supposed to be laughing at all this violence, but it's actually kind of sad. <laughs> I'm really not a violent person, though. Uh, no, no, I, I'm kidding at the moment, but um, when Soldier of Fortune came out and it had the ultra gory mode on, um, one time I'd been playing it for so long in the one day that I actually had to turn it off because it was just so disgusting. All that. It was gorier than this. You used to be able to see intestines and stuff and headshots and holes and people and like they weren't really that detailed but it was just like after a while it got to be too much like it's like in the South Park version of uh, Great Expectations where the little girl's killing bunnies like by twisting their heads off and after like 90 bunnies or whatever she gives up because she just can't fucking do it anymore. like it's too much even though it doesn't really affect her like each, each bunny means nothing God, these fucking hippies man um you know it just gets to a point a saturation point it's like I don't need to do this anymore Whoa. There he is, the one with the cap on again. Oh, oh, we might need to upgrade our weaponry. Here we go. Well, check this shit out. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Easy. Is there any more ammo for this gun though? Because I, I appear to have used all of it. How do I get out of this fucking place? I cannot proceed with enemies on high alone. Oh well, does that mean I have to kill all of them? Oh shit! Might have to come to that now. 
Oh, it's doing that thing when my health goes down and I can't save properly anymore. I'm not going to win this level either. But anyway, that was Hitman Absolution. I actually don't know if I'm ever going to make videos of this game again, because I'm very good at it. Uh, you can let me know. If, if, if there's something further on in the game, like, oh, those, those uh, n nuns that are dressed up as prostitutes, or those prostitutes that are dressed up as nuns, whatever that. Uh, tell me what level that is. I want to play that one. <laughs> For obvious reasons. You can see if I can talk them into pleasuring me with their uh, various appendages. Oh, wow, look at that. You guys know far too much about me. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna hide behind the Cetar here. Because <coughs> no one could ever be angry at a Cetar. Apparently it's actually pronounced Sitar. I don't know. There you go. Hmm. Cops with families. Drag. <laughs> oh shit, no! Why are their hats covered in milk? <coughs> I think that's a graphical glitch there. It looks like tinfoil. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Oh god, what a gory game! I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, maybe I can get. I'll just see if I can get out of here with this new disguise. Oh! <laughs> All right, I'm quitting. I'm stopping now. <laughs>